So I'm sure by now you guys have heard of the big LEGO Fortnite collab that just happened, but in their most recent update they also added a racing mode. I wonder what it's called. Hey. Wait a minute. Sometimes my random name picker pulls crazy coincidences. Like today. Yesterday we reviewed Slider Petrolski, and today it chose Ruby Easy Oaks. Two Cars 1 Piston Cup racers in a row. So let's begin. Hello everybody and welcome back to 25 Days of Suggestions 2023. Where I review your suggestions for 25 days. As chosen by a random name picker. I'm sorry guys, I've been filming a video for Muptown Funk, my other channel, for the last two hours. And realized that I completely forgot to do 25 days, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of out of it. My voice is shot. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at... See, I didn't even say today we're going to be taking a look at. Oh. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ruby Easy Oaks, the Easy Idol Racer, as requested by Steven Sheldon. But before we do that... Of course, we have to open up today in the Mini Racers Advent Calendar. Now, yesterday, we got a little tiny plastic tool cart, and I'd like to thank my good friend Rashid Reviews for confirming my theory. Of course, in my video yesterday, I talked about how glad I was to see that we were actually getting Mini Racer scale accessories for once in the Advent Calendar, instead of, you know, the same old 155 scale accessories we usually get. I said I was really glad to see that, but I assumed they were probably from those mini racers on the road accessory pack tube things we got last year. Rashid told me that yes, I was right. This tool cart was previously used in the pack with that little immobile plastic mini Guido. Uh, and he said that these oil cans also come from the Ivy pack, but I believe they've been remolded. He said he's not too sure with these. Um, but yeah, uh, so just for the record, some of these accessories are reused from that just recolored, and I think that's really, really cool, because now we finally have mini racer scale accessories, except this one. Not, not this one. Bad timing, cone. This is, this is, this is awful timing. This is, yeah, this is the same cone accessory. Um, I believe it's slightly different. In past years, we've had cones with little peg holes in them, uh, so that you could plug flags and stuff into them, but no, this is, this is really bad timing. I was just talking about how glad I am to get Mini Racer scale accessories. And of course, we get the one accessory here that isn't Mini Racer scale. This is a traffic cone. I believe it's pretty much the same as every cone we've ever gotten. Uh, I have my car's accessory bin with me right here. I don't believe I have any cones in it, though. Yeah, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. But, uh, yeah, maybe it's a little shorter than cones we've gotten in the past. Let's let's go check. All right, so I found this red cone from a previous advent calendar. I believe it's from last year's, and you can see, yeah, they are the same sculpt. So unfortunately, we're still getting 155 scale cones in an advent calendar that is now including primarily mini racer scale items. But hey, whatever, it's a cone. Add it to the infinitely growing collection of cones that come from every one of these advent calendars. Anyway, now it's time to take a look at our old pal, Ruby Easy Oaks. As you can see, mine seems to have his eyes a little bit misapplied. The white of his eyes is kind of going on, not kind of, but it is on his, uh, his, uh, his, the side of his windshield, which is an error that are on several of my car's diecasts. We don't see that anymore with Thailand variants, but, uh, beforehand, yeah, we had quite a few, it was quite a common, uh, error to see that. I believe my original cruise has that as well, just the eye kind of spilling over past where the eye should be. Ruby, of course, is a racer for Easy Idols. Easy Idols. Easy Idol, a warm start to a cold morning. It's a sort of thing that you would, I guess the car would ingest it or put it on them or in them somewhere to, of course, warm them up when it's cold out. You got Ruby's little tiny mustache there, as well as the number 51 over his headlight. Light blue and white go so well together. I mean, I know my profile picture, right? My Thai avatar is light blue and black. I feel like light blue is such an underrated color in graphic design. There are a lot of great things you could do with it. And the light blue and white combo here is just really, really nice. On the side, we of course have all your classic secondary sponsors, the Piston Cup, Nitro Wade, Revolting, Octane Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, and Gasprin. Easy Idle, RPM, Bull, Torque Pistons, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch Aid, as well as the Easy Idle, a warm start to a cold morning slogan once again. I love how this is just a very small text on the side in such a generic font. This screams 2006 graphic design is my passion. 
Number 51 there, of course, for Cars 3, the number had to be changed to 15 to accommodate Cruz when she takes on the number 51 at the end of the movie. Of course, Ruby did not return for Cars 3, but the sponsor did. Easy Idol, warm start to a cold morning there. Same thing on the back, and on this side, you'll never guess what it says Easy Idol is. That's right! A warm start to a cold morning! No way! And finally, there is the base. So there you have it. Ruby Easy Oaks. Once again, huge thank you to Stephen Sheldon for suggesting this one, and to my random name picker for picking it. Ruby is just a really nice pissing up racer. He's definitely not one of my personal favorites, but he does have a really nice color scheme. And Easy Idol is... Just one of those sponsors where the original two designs look really, really nice, and then the next gen really, really, really changes things. It makes them really different. So let me know which Easy Idol racer is your favorite in the comments in terms of design. I gotta go with the Cars 3 veteran Carl Clutchin. I'm sure Ruby will get some votes. I wanna know if anybody chooses Harvey Rodcap. He is very different, and I think he's really cool, but he just doesn't scream Easy Idol to me. Kind of like Barry D. Pedal. I love the other two RPM racers. Then you get to Barry, where I really like Barry's design, but he just doesn't look RPM anymore, you know? But there you have it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.